Once, once again, you are the most important thing today. You are the most important thing today. Here we take the time and we align our hearts. You are the most important thing today. You are the most valuable thing today. We take the time and we align our hearts with yours. Just like that woman Mary sitting at your feet. Let us hold the same heart at your feet. Just like that woman Mary pouring out that oil. We give you our time, our love, this precious oil. take the time and we align our hearts with yours we take the time you are the most important thing today you are the most important thing today keep it are the most valuable thing today. desire and now my heart's desire is to know you more to be found in you and known as yours to possess by faith what I could not earn all surpass
to see your face
an outpouring of the Holy Spirit and revival in Kansas City from Acts 2, 17 through 21. In the last day, says God, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. And whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Faithful Father, we come boldly before your throne this morning. Father, we thank you for 15 years of night and day prayer. And we say we still wait upon your name. It's good to wait upon your name. And Father, we thank you that you are not a man that you should lie. That every single promise that you have spoken over our city, it's yes and amen. And Father, we bring before you those promises this morning, God. And we ask that you would release a fulfillment in this hour of every promise you've spoken. Father, we ask for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit like never before seen in our city. Father, we ask that you would make Kansas City a revival center to the ends of the earth for the glory of your name. Father, we ask that salvation would spring up from the ground. Father, we pray for hundreds of thousands of unbelievers to come into to your kingdom, God, in our city. Father, we ask for waves of light and glory. God, explosions of light and glory and revelation. God, across our city that would strengthen your bride. God, that would save the lost. God, that would deliver the oppressed. God, we ask that you would go forth today, declare the beauty of Jesus, that you would show us his glory. Father, we ask for the reality of heaven to come down in our city. Father, we ask that no disease, God, known to man, it would stand in our city, God. We ask that you would break cancer and every sickness, every oppression. God, we ask for oppressed minds to be delivered. God, we ask for healing. God, for a healing revival in our city. Father, we ask that you would go forth today, that your word, God, would go forth in power in our city. God, a thousand times the power of anything we've touched. God, in the preaching of the word, at the singing of the word, God, at the proclamation, God, we ask for grace to pray, God, to intercede. God, a power and a grace and an anointing like we've never touched. God, give us a spirit of prayer. God, in our city, God, we, we ask for the full manifestation of your spirit, God, in power to go forth in our city. God, every promise to be fulfilled in the name of Jesus, we ask, pour out your spirit and send revival to Kansas City. Pour out your spirit. Over our city. 
city. We believe your promises over our city. God, we agree together. We want to see every promise come to pass in our city. Father, signs and wonders like never before seen in our city. Father, we ask that you would go forth today in power, that you would declare the beauty of Jesus on every corner of our city. God, every neighborhood, every suburb, God, in downtown, in Overland Park, in Blue Springs, in Lee Summit, in Grandview, Kansas City, God, declare the beauty of Jesus. Make known his glory. God, we ask for the realm of the supernatural, God, dreams, visions, God, angels ascending and descending. We ask that it would increase in our city. God, you would go forth, God, the electricity, the wind and the fire, the rain of your spirit would go forth. It would increase and abound in our city, God. Today, many would come to know you. Many would be saved. God, you would anoint your church with power. God, you would revive many hearts today by your word and your spirit. Father, we ask that that you would walk among our city. Jesus, you would walk among our city. God, answer, fulfill every promise. So in the name of Jesus, pour out your spirit and release signs and wonders in Kansas City. Pour out your spirit, God, just like you said you would. Just like you said you would manifest your power. Give us signs and wonders. You would stretch out your before the Lord this morning with such a grateful heart for the 15 years. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for these 15 years, Lord. Thank you, God, for the years before IHOP started, for all those that prayed. Thank you, God, for the revelation of night and day prayer hitting our hearts, being released on the inside of each one of us here in this house. Thank you, God, that you've called us into this thing called night and day prayer. You've called us into this thing of the revelation of your son and of his coming. We just thank you, God. We thank you for calling us to Kansas City, for bringing us here, for planting us in this land, for all the miracles that you did to bring us here, God. We thank you for it, for the energy you've expelled in our lives to bring us here that we might have life and being here in the house of prayer in you Jesus that we're the dream of your heart and you're the dream of ours God and we just want to thank you so Lord I just lift up to you your word in Acts 1 behold I send the promise of my father upon you but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses to me in 
Jerusalem and to the ends of the earth. Father, we thank you for Luke 24. We thank you for Acts 1. And we ask you, God, we thank you for the promises, the prophetic promises that you've given to this house and over this city. And we stand as a witness to you, God, that you said these things and we believe you. We've moved here, we've come here, we've been set in the house of prayer to pray for this city, to pray for Israel and for the return of Jesus, to pray for the nations of the earth. We agree with your promises over this house and over our city, God. And we ask you, God, for more. We ask you, God, this week that you would pour out your spirit in an extra measure, God, on this house you would release dreams and visions, that you would remind us of the promises that you made over this house and over this city, 300,000 souls, healing, revival. So we take our stand with you, God, in our partnership with you. Would you come and pour out your spirit on your sons and daughters? Would you cause their hearts to see and to hear that which you're thinking and feeling and saying? We thank you, God, for our worship teams, these young adults that have come here and that have, are expending their youth in worship and adoration, in learning about you and giving their strength to the house of prayer, God, to night and day prayer. We ask you, God, today that you would in, pour out your spirit on us this week for an anniversary present, God. In our midst, would you release dreams and vision? Would you release increased revelation? Would you cause our hearts to see clearly that which we're here for? Would you let us hear, God, the sounds of heaven? Would you cause our interns and our students to be made alive in the revelation of your heart in these very days? Would you pour out your spirit on us, God, in an increased way? Would you come like you promised? Would you do it, God? Would you help us this coming year to raise up messengers really of your heart, God, that know your word, that become your friends? Would you do this, God, in our midst? We thank you for the church of Kansas City, God. We ask you this morning that you would pour out your spirit on her in an increased way, and we are all part of her. But I'm asking you for the thousand congregations in our city that need more of you, God. We need to hear your voice. We need to hear your sound. We need to know your word. Stir up the church of Kansas City, God, with the revelation of your son and the revelation of your heart over him, about him, about his return. Would you awaken the church to the prophetic promises that you have for her? She'll, she'll, she'll say yes, God, and she'll stand and make herself ready with you and your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come. We ask you, God, to manifest your glory in a big way this week in our city. Would you just kiss us, God, with a holy visitation? Would you just kiss us, God, in the night watch, in the day watch, in the streets, on policemen, on doctors and lawyers, on on the schools, God, on young adults and children, would you come and kiss the city? Would you come and pour out your spirit, God? Just like you promised, would you make manifest the promises? Would you give us a token, God, this week, today, tonight, tomorrow? Would you break in? Would you break in, God? Beautiful and glorious, would you break in? Living God, Powerful and mighty, would you break in? In Jesus' precious name. Oh God, break in with more of your spirit. Break in with more of your power. Increase you measure, said, God. We believe it. Would you come for your spirit? Pour it out, God. We contend for your promises. God, it's great. We want to see more. We want to see the fullness. We want it all, oh, God. Would you give to us a greater measure of your spirit? Yes, all God. Throughout the city all and that you have, God. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall, God. We want it spirit. all. We want it Baptize all, God. us with your spirit, God. And do us with power. Your 
Just as it is with you, the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. May the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. Father of glory, as an international body of believers gathered in this city, Father, our soul's desire is this. Would you cause your word to run? Father, would you stir up your decrees and your promises? And would it gain influence all across this city? Father, upon a thousand congregations, Father, all across Kansas City and in this region, would you speak and would you cause doors to open for your voice to be heard? Father, would you cause your word, your words of life to gain influence? Father, would you break open doors where no man has gone before to preach the gospel. Father, all across the city, would you open the gates for your word to run swiftly? Would you glorify every thought and intention burning in your heart? And would you cause your desires to gain influence? Father of lights, would you cause your word to run swiftly and be glorified in Jesus' name we pray. Go forth, Lord. Let it go Let forth. Your word run. Swiftly with power. Swiftly with anointing. Confirm your word with power. Confirm it with Open power. Open a door for your Open word. Open doors for your word. Open effectual door. Let your word go forth. Touch minds, touch hearts. Change lives, change hearts. It would gain entrance into hearts. For a harvest of Let souls. Let your word run, bringing light to the darkest places. Let your word run. It would bring in many souls to your kingdom. Souls for the harvest that you promised. Let your word run with power. Let it run with power. Delivering, redeeming, and saving. Let your word run swiftly. Redeem. Let your word run swiftly. 
let it run. Let it run with power. Let your word reconcile. Father, changing lives. Change lives. Let your word revive us. Let it run with According power. to what you've spoken. Out our city. It changing shall lives. come to pass. Let your word Father, we believe. word run swiftly let it change lives in the name of Jesus cause your word to be glorified let doors open for love to abound in this city still more and more even as creation groans even as the nations rage even as kings of the earth plug vain things father glorify your word Cause your love to abound in this city still more and more. In Jesus' name we pray. Cause your love to abound still more and more. Still more and more. Let your love abound in this city, God. Let love abound. As your love could change so many hearts, many lives. Your love is powerful. City. Let it transform hearts, let it renew minds. Let your love abound still more and more. Cause you're just too beautiful to be kept apart. Let many hearts be touched, God. Let many hearts be touched, God. Let your love abound, let us never be the same. Let's never be the same, manifest the fullness of 
something big we need to see your power signs and wonders testimonies triumph mightily over darkness here in our city we're long and we're grown and we want to see more
out of Isaiah 62, verse 1. For Zion's sake, I will not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until her righteousness goes forth as brightness and her salvation as a lamp that burns. Father, we lift up before you Israel today. Father, we lift up Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, Haifa, all throughout the land. Father, we lift up before your throne right now injustice in the land. We turn our gaze right now and and we come before you on behalf of those that are being exploited and abused, that are being trafficked. Father, for the fatherless, these ones that are, that are victims, of sexual abuse and exploitation. Father, we come before you and we lift up all unrighteousness in the land. We will not hold our peace until righteousness goes forth. Father, your word declares in Isaiah 59 that justice was turned back that righteousness stood far off that truth had fallen in the streets but Jesus you came forth to bring forth justice and righteousness that you laid down your life so that justice and righteousness could be established we partner with your heart today Jesus for Israel your word says that you will not rest you do not grow discouraged or weary until justice is established in Israel and throughout the earth. So we lift up before you every organization in Israel that are reaching out to those that are exploited and abused. I lift up JIJ, Freedom Foundation, Red Carpet Ministries, every safe home. Father, we ask for justice to be established in the land. We lift up these workers before you right now. We ask that you would raise up an army of deliverers that would be able to discern truth from error, that would be able to discern righteousness from unrighteousness. Father, that you would raise up mighty men and women to establish justice and righteousness in the land of Israel. We ask for strength and equipping right now for the workers, Lord. These ones that are going out on the streets, these ones that are looking and bringing in the most vulnerable, Lord, we ask for an equipping of your saints. We ask that you would anoint them with power from on high, that you would pour out the Isaiah 61 anointing, a call of deliverance. Father, we ask today that you would give them the mind of Christ, that you would sharpen their discernment, that you would open their eyes, open their ears to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, to give them discernment and understanding how to walk these ones in healing and deliverance restoration and wholeness. Jesus, you came out of the place of prayer, declaring that you had come forth in power to break chains, to break off demonic oppression, to set captives free, body, soul, and spirit. So I ask for that anointing that was upon you to rest upon these workers right now in Israel, that you would raise up a mighty army of deliverers, that you would put your zeal in them today. Jesus, it says in your word, that you put on zeal like a cloak, that you come forth in power, that it's the zeal in your heart for justice and righteousness that caused you to lay down your own life, that it would go forth. So we ask today for your zeal in the hearts of the men and women that are walking out justice in the lands, that you would break off all fear, that you would break off all bondage, that they would arise with strength and power to go forth in the land and bring forth justice. So, Father, we ask today for Israel. We turn to you and we partner with your heart. We say, let justice roll down like a mighty river and righteousness like everlasting streams in Jesus' name. Let your righteousness rule and reign. Father of glory, let justice roll down like a river. Let justice roll down. We are asking you for justice in Israel. Establish your righteousness. Establish your righteousness. Establish your throne. Have your way in every way. Raise up mighty deliverers. That your kingdom come. Your that your kingdom will will come on earth Raise as it is in heaven. Raise up laborers. Those who are anointed to Anoint deliver. Anoint them even now, Father. Raise up those who Raise up your deliverers. We pray. 
generation that they will run after your heart like David in Jesus name in Jesus name we we prophesy over the dead bones to raise up and stand as a great army that they would fight for the kingdom of heaven Lord stretch up your hand stretch up your hand Lord we want we want your spirit to blow over the church in Iraq Lord we want a people from from locals to stand and and stand in the gap so that you would come and visit Iraq. Yes, Lord, raise up teams of musicians and worship leaders, intercessors, that they will stand and bring your presence to Iraq. Power of God, power of God rests upon people that they would go and they would not be afraid from the angry of men and they would go and carry the gospel to the darkness land Lord we stand today against the desperation and frustration that they that they try to cover the church and the believers in Iraq and we ask you Lord we ask you Lord send the spirit of power spirit of success and fill the believers in Iraq that they will stand and would not give up in Jesus name send your Holy Spirit and raise up intercessors in Iraq in Jesus name send your spirit to the church in Iraq Raise up intercessors in Iraq. Strengthen believers, we pray. Open their eyes. In Iraq, Open their pray. ears. Fill them with your spirit, hear. Lord. Let them hear, hear your voice. And see you. Open up their eyes and ears. Raise up your intercessors. And Leave them, Holy spirit. spirit. Leave them. Spirit, lead and guide them through the valley of death. Lead them. You watch me through the fire. By the fire, 
glory of the Lord. Manifest your glory. Glorify your name. Let the spirit see awakening of your power. Glorify your name. Lord, I be praying for the church of Iraq, continuing from what he was praying from. Hallelujah. Lord, we just pray for God for the church of Iraq, God, out of Acts 1 and 8. Lord, we just thank you that you love Iraq. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that the church of Iraq is displaying your heart with their zeal of the gospel, with their heart to submit to your heart and to know the heart and the testimony of Jesus. Lord, even though we're thousands and millions of miles away, Lord, we ask and we stand in intercession for the church of Iraq. God asking that you would literally give America tears. Give America tears for the tragedy and the injustice of what we are seeing in that land. The greatest injustice that Jesus' name is being proclaimed and still again is not received. So we ask God for every ISIS member, God, for your mercy and your justice of your love. God, would you show them your heart in this season, God, as they go out in tanks, as they go out in the gears, and they go out in their mission. I ask for fire, that the Spirit of the Lord would intercept everything that they're trying to do, every demonic force. God, I ask, God, that your heart literally would shake the globe. I ask, God, that you literally would awaken something that has been unprecedented in the ages, God, that you literally would come with an Acts 1 and 8 occasion of the Holy Spirit that as those that are in the church are being persecuted that as they speak and declare your word that they love you Jesus that as they would say that that manifestations of the Holy Spirit would awaken those with knives would awaken those with guns would awaken those in and they're using the force of nature Lord I ask God as missiles are being flown into those regions where those are where your name is being proclaimed in Iraq I ask God that literally Holy Spirit would intercept missiles I ask God for a force field around those within a camping of angels God would you send your glory God Lord I ask God for the church of America that you literally bring us to our knees again for the for the injustices of what we see about your name in the lands Lord I pray God that you would strengthen the hearts of leaders that are that are that are working for strategies working for plans with the church of Iraq God would you strengthen them with might in the inner man God would you let them see the manifestations of your love and the hope of the calling of the church of Iraq God as they know who you are as those have been proclaiming your name for years have been exiled from the land I ask God for holy visitation in this time of persecution in the name of Jesus
morning star, rising sun, lily of the valley, rose of Sharon, son of God. Lift it up, glorified, praise through all the ages, the first and last beginning and end in Jesus. Name above all names, my soul cries, Jesus. It's the sweetest song, Jesus. sun, lily of the valley, rose of Sharon, son of God. Lift it up, glorified, praise through all the ages, the first and last beginning and end in Jesus. the beauty 
small my baby I'm giving you all there is to me no matter how small my all baby gladly wasted at your feet no matter how small my Baby, giving you all there is to me, no matter how small my all, baby. 
baby Gladly wasted at your feet Cause you're beautiful You're worth it all You're beautiful Worth it all Beautiful You're beautiful 